Hey, today's video is just about things I've been trying and new things I've been doing just because I want to push myself out of my comfort zone and try new things. I'm at the skate park. I don't skate as often I was, as I would like to and I only like coming here when there's no one here. So that's not as often as I would like to, but we got the board. All I really know is how to go down ramps and ollie and shove it, but I'm determined I'm getting somewhere this year, you know? I want to get a little, I want to get a little progress. I meditated and then journaled a little. I journaled about just how how grateful I am to see like how far I've come. Literally just almost exactly a year ago, I purchased my NASM package for personal training. And I just thought like, I'm gonna do this, but I don't know how I'm ever gonna get to that place where I could train someone. Like that doesn't even seem possible. And just this week I trained my first client. So within that year, so it feels really good to see that if I just follow a plan and even if it feels like it's taking a while or if it's sometimes it feels like it's never gonna happen, it's just that I have to take a seat back and let things happen and just also take time to look in retrospect from where I came and compare like how much growth and how much has changed since then. And it makes me feel like I've actually been doing a lot for myself and for my career so i just journaled about that a little bit i got really sweaty skating but i'm going now to drop off drop off my film um at the usps because this is the first time i'm gonna be using like a male and um developer since i want digitals i don't want prints because for prints i just have to take pictures of the pictures and it takes so much more energy and i just want digitals and I'll be able to pick what I want printed out from there. So I'm gonna do that. And then I might go to the library and work on my nutrition. <laughs> This is my outfit for my first ever fashion show. Um, my friend was walking in the show and she invited me to come watch her, which was super cool. Hello, so today I'm going to my second drum lesson i'm super excited i took my my first drum lesson last weekend for the first time it was just a trial and i had so much fun i've been wanting to start drumming for so long so i was just like i need to do it um so this is gonna be my second lesson i'll try to film a little bit but i'll i'll show a little bit of my first session which was really fun <laughs> I got my first tattoo that was crazy i've been wanting to get a tattoo for over three years so this is like long due for me but i just haven't been able to commit or like make an appointment or you know but there you go i did it hey so this is my tattoo um and i'm gonna take this off Ow. 
Another thing that I tried that I haven't done in so long was watercolor painting. Whenever I paint, usually I use acrylic paint, so I just tried watercolor. I actually used some moon water that I made on a full moon to do the painting, so that was like very fun. And watercolor, I feel like brings back my childhood memories because I feel like the only time I ever watercolored was when I was a little kid. So here's this video of me painting a watercolor person that I made. So, since this whole video is about trying new things, one big thing I just tried, was it yesterday or two days ago? I don't remember, but I basically have been wanting to try public speaking because that's definitely something I'm interested in, but I don't have any practice with, and I definitely struggle with public speaking. And I just haven't been thinking about it that much because I just don't really know how I'm supposed to practice public speaking. Basically, my boss that I work with at the gym I work at, he got invited to speak at a seminar at Rutgers for the administration to basically speak on just the basics of fitness and nutrition to kind of help them because those are most of the people who sit at a desk all day and don't really get any movement in. So he was invited to just educate them a little bit on some s small s changes they can make just to live a healthier lifestyle. And he basically approached me and was like, yo, I think this would be something you would be interested in. Like, would you want to come and you could speak? And my first reaction was like, oh my God, that is terrifying. Like, like, oh my God, I've been wanting to practice public speaking. Like, this is such a good opportunity. And I just did not let my brain win when it came to the fear of failing or thinking it's something that I can't do or something that I need more practice in. I was just like, I jumped right into it and I was like, yes, that sounds awesome. Like I need this experience. I want this opportunity. I'm just gonna grab it, you know? So I literally had one day, no, like a night, cause I got what I was supposed to talk about the night before and I had one night to practice and I just practiced as much as I could. And then I just jumped right into it the next day. We, we got to the Rutgers University and they introduced me and they introduced him and he started off talking about the fitness portion. And I basically had the whole nutrition portion. So I spoke for about 15 minutes to a room of about 30 to 40 administrative people. And it was like on the way there, I was like super nervous and worried, but I honestly did a pretty good job and it was a very, cool experience because that's something I never imagined myself doing especially at this time but I really think I took it very well and I'm proud of myself for not letting my head and fears and anxieties win and I just knew this was something I wanted to try so I just did it even though my head was telling me you can't do this like this is uh, crazy you don't know what you're doing but it was definitely just a really new experience for me and I definitely can see myself going forward and public speaking more and trying to grab more opportunities for that and practice more but I don't have any pictures at the moment I have a little video of me like passing Rutgers I didn't really film it all that day I was just kind of like in the zone focusing I'm very thankful for the opportunity and yeah so you can do anything just don't let your fears and anxieties control your actions. At the end of the day, you have the power to just push those fears and anxieties aside and be like, well, I wanna do it anyways. I know I don't have any practice with it, but I wanna try it anyways. Like, I'm just gonna go because the worst that could happen is that you're terrible and maybe people will laugh and maybe you'll cry. And that seems pretty terrible, but that's only in the moment, you know? That's something that passes, so. I think that that fear of that terrible outcome shouldn't be the blockage for where you want to go in life. That's my piece.